good morning, good afternoon, good day to you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. After I went to bed last night, I couldn't help but think that the net is closing around us and uh, I won't have much longer left in this area. And so when I woke up this morning, I thought, yeah, we'll pop in. and uh, see the, you know, sort of take a look around for one last time because I've got a feeling when we talk to Dutch that's going to be it. Sorry, my train of thought was momentarily distracted because I'm trying to find the stream. <laughs> got it. Let me just quickly share the link so people know I'm live and uh, yeah then we'll get to it yeah I just sort of have this feeling that the whole thing is closing in on us the net so I want to go to the trapper I've been saying that for quite some time so that's what we will do And we're going to take a look around and do some uh, do some what's the word hunting, I guess. Hello, Kieran. Hello. Stu is currently being prepared. Check again. Afternoon. It is afternoon. But yeah, when when we you talk to Dutch, already? I just have so a feeling. Keep heading east. Hey. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. Well, we are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Yeah, that's the conversation we heard, and that's made me think that this is our last chance here. Obviously, it's during the day, and I don't normally stream during the day. I'm not going to stream for too long, but last night, like, I was aching a bit, and my reactions weren't as good as they normally are, etc., etc. Trying to make excuses for my poor decisions. You okay, boy? Um, but yeah, we. So I wonder if we can still go about doing normal stuff, like visiting this trapper. Let's find this trapper and go and find him. You show up. What have we got here? Trapper. There we go. What my? What's my bounty? Oh, hang on. Two nine five. So. That's where I'm really wanted, so bounty hunters is going to be a big issue. If you can hear some noise in the background, that would be the real Scruffy, the cat. But yeah, we'll see what we can do in the meantime. Yep. Oh, the alert. I've forgotten about that. That's my boy. <laughs> That's a good point. Mister? Yeah, Scruffy definitely needs some attention after last night. Yep. He definitely got me out of a sticky situation. Hey, hey, this way. Oh, 
So how'd you end up like this? You know? Oh! Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Hey, what the hell? Get away from me! I, I just want to talk to you. I know it's not customary for people to point guns at people and shoot. Um. Come back, come back, come on. Come back, I just want to talk to you. I want to know your story. Come back, come, come this way. Come here, come, come. What the? Hey, come here, come here. I want to talk to you. All right. You're not going to talk to me, so I'm going to have to persuade you to talk to me. Uh, missed. Come and talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I just want to talk to you. Yeah, like, come and talk to me. <laughs> I let go. Oi. It's on the line. Jesus! What the hell? <laughs> I wonder if I could take him to town. Untie me now, you piece of shit! Okay, hold on. You run around? This is... Very kind of you. <laughs> yep, you've definitely got a chance. You're just pockets that are a bit lighter. Okay, that didn't do a lot for my karma. Yeah. It was funny. is going to be the main thing and that's probably why I did that but uh, yeah then we can go to the trapper the trappers oh the trappers in the opposite direction and we were nearly there oh well run yeah. run 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 decision is going to be, what do we spend our money on a bounty? Well, with the net closing, the bounty is going to just keep increasing anyway. So I'm not going to worry about that. It's like, do I spend, what do I spend my money on? Well, I guess spending the money would be on, great, there's a train in the way. Spending the money on the camp and the people to try and give them a better life 
probably be the wiser decision. So that's what we're going to be spending our money on. Rather than bounties. And there's a mystery person there as well to me. So I might want to do that. Once we uh, make a little bit more cash. Hopefully this will fetch a good price. It's a very good car. Good condition. Got some hunting to be done. And yeah, it's night time. And half of Valentine hates us. All I'm going to need is a good cup of coffee. Every time I talk to someone, there's beer off the tracks. Hello, Gaz. Didn't notice you pop in there. Yeah. Didn't come up with a notification. How are you? Just uh, hanging out in Red Dead Redemption 2, which I must say I'm thoroughly enjoying when I get the chance to play it and enjoy this world. Also has an online section. I'm trying to persuade other people in the family that this is a good game for them to play. online bit anyway, at the very least. Too much further. It's going to be sunrise soon. Okay. Is that bounty hunters? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is people that look really, really annoyed when they're looking for me. How many bounty hunters? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Day, sunshine.
So my cart I stole has disappeared off, has it? Great. Well, let's make some profit out of all this. Now, where were the others? Um, one there, one over there. I'm going to need some stew or something. Quickly loot, quickly, quickly loot. So we're getting some more right stuff. Nothing amazing. A hat. Whose hat is that? Can I? No, I don't want that hat. Thank you. My hat's fine. No, oh, no, I don't want to pick up. Wrong, wrong. I'm trying to loot quickly. Triangle to loot, triangle to loot. Loot, 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 quick. One over there. Oh, that's a horse. Oh, that's a, a buck. I think that was it. Hang on. What's over here? Another guy, yep. Okay. Oh, all right. I can't search this bounty hunter. You can't turn me in. This ain't stuff. I don't want to get seen. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to get seen. Yet I shout and. So hang on. Is that is that the cart horse or is that my horse? What? There's no point in going there anymore if we haven't got a cart to hand in. Hang on, what? We've got two things on the map. Where? What we got? We got a horse, and we've got. Yeah, there's no point in going there anymore. Um, Arthur's horse. Right. We've got another icon over there. Is that the car? What was that? Is that ginseng? Bit of health, some raspberries. Bit of stamina core regeneration, yeah, nice. Every time. comes when I need. I don't actually want to get fit again, so I guess I'll just run across the countryside to get my Horse is going to be good enough. That oh, that restored dead eye. 
Nice, that's interesting to know. Not again. We're still out of range. How far away are we from Scruffy? That's the big question. How did he... Oh, hang on, there's someone to check out there as well. So... Someone's there that we can meet. Let's go meet that person then. Hey, hang on. He's in range. Nice. We am going to meet a stranger. I want to get tooled up, first of all. Scruffy, boy, am I pleased to see you. Be, hang on, that also reminds me. Progress, I think it is. Uh, challenges, that's the one. I'm pretty sure hunting. We, that's the one where we're doing the best with... One of three. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. Ah, okay. There's another challenge that survivalist. Was that the one we were doing well with? Yeah, kill five animals using a varmint rifle. Yeah, yeah. Could could work on that potentially. No, I don't want dynamite. I want the bow and arrow, yeah. It's very nice to get that. Stealth is not going to be very good with a horse, is it? <laughs> really, let's be honest. Do we get anything useful from this? Oh no, the, bo the body is rolling away. Perfect skunk pelt. Excellent. Can I take that from me? Is it useful? I oh, know. We'll find out, I guess. Okay, fella. Let's go meet this stranger. We can't stay out for too long because we've got this carcass on us, but um, well, it's two or five. And then we can find some other things. There we go. Stop on by for a moment. 
Oh, it's unavailable due to recent grinds. Return at a later date. So we're going to get the opportunity to return at a later date. Oh, um, somebody's looking for me in that direction. So I guess we're going to have to get out of here. Okay. How many bounty hunters? I don't want to send the whole town after us. Alright, we might have to go back and talk to Do Dutch. That might be our only option. That takes us right past the bounty hunters. If we, if we just cut this way, which is directly sort of west. Okay, head west. Yep. Go west. Yep, seems like a good plan. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's not do what I did before, which was get caught without the correct weapons in combat. So that's the long arm, that's a Lancaster repeater, and then we've got a rolling block rifle. I need some more ammo as well, my ammo is really bad. Yeah, I'm just going to head west. the sun's coming up. Let's lose him. No one keep up with Scruffy. Anyway. No, for short distance. Hopefully they can probably understand why I'm reluctant. East. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When yeah, we reach Paris? We just keep doing That'd that. So nice. I guess Join the commune. We we're going to have to find just some place hand, sensible. Shake them and in. follow oh, everything's, everything's packed up. I can't hand any meat in. Oh, right, okay. Of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion right. of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. All right, we're going to have to talk we to don't Dutch. Have it's forced. This forced our soon. hand, really, hasn't it? Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Um, you can probably see why I'm reluctant to talk to the Dutch, because every time I talk to anyone in the gang, I have to end up killing lots of people, and I don't like doing that. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? All right. Hold on. Do 
Can I not get a cup of coffee before I leave? Okay, we gotta go to Dewberry Creek. Let's have a look on the map. Right here. Bounty is it's not so high over here. Alright, let's head out then. to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Hey. He goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. Okay there, boy. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. This is a big country. And now, these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. You okay, boy? I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot first. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Let's get rid of that marker. Right, we've got to investigate these places up here. Let's go have a look. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful.
Sure. Still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. I'm just taking a look around if there's anything we can use. in in Red Dead Redemption 2 or at least that's what I think is going on Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. Easy. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? 
when you were fishing with Jack. Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Continues along the shore here. So, yeah, uh, where were we? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year one. He did? I think this is the right way. Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. Back to what I was talking about. And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Camp up ahead. Careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. You all right, boy? Yeah. Slow it down. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, 
Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Okay, I didn't realise he'd do it the second time, and I was wondering if I could do something else with him. Let's try looting again and not repeat okay. the same mistake twice. Okay, you out of here. Great, all the loot's gone. All the bodies are gone. <laughs> Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Alright. meine Familie sie geschickt. Let's just get this gentleman back to his family. Also soll ich mitkommen? This gentleman back home. Yep. Hin. What the hell did you do to those fellas? <laughs> like you were saying before. Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. 
Dutch. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. I didn't take any items during the fight, but I took some items on the way to the fight, so that's how I failed that. Morning, Mr. Morgan. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Good morning, Arthur. See you, Dark Secrets. Yeah, I wasn't talking because my son is just uh, attending to the real life Scruffy. that maybe we blocked our way? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing and... 
not making much sense, am I? No. But somehow, you summarized how I feel. Then it seems the same as always, and then it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I, I just... We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. <sighs> Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. not smell a I'm campfire sleeping, again. Arthur. I think it's in our skin now. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. You all right? Yeah. I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Here we are. Another day older. And definitely not wiser. Cat's eating his breakfast, and uh, we're having a cup of coffee. That was my one concern. If we moved on, we were going to lose. What are you doing there, Arthur? Drinking coffee. Um, yeah, we we're going to lose out on stuff, and she's just confirmed it, which makes me incredibly sad. So now we've got to get as many things done as we can. As soon as anyone gives us a lead, Good morning, Arthur. we follow up on it. Morning. Everything okay? Yeah. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. Well, we all gotta pitch in. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do.
Hell of a morning. So what can we do now? That's a big question. Camp boat. Might be useful. 360 though. Alright, that's next. Everyone's tense. We're going to upgrade them. But I'm guessing we're going to have to talk to Dutch just to get things back on the road. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> It's funny, us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. So that's your master plan. Let's go fishing. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Am I overdressed for the occasion? Or oh, underdressed is that possibly? Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. 
Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich simpletons there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay... We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on! Hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Hey, stop that. Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Harvey. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Hey, cut that out. Go back to pop. <laughs> Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. What is that all about? The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Will you stop that? Uh, uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, got to now.
Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? But take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. What? All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Can't get through nothing without some damn Here. That made me laugh, that guy in the carriage can't go through nowhere without a damn ruckus. General store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop. Don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. 
But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Uh, make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. Gideon. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Just wondering how long we can stay on the good side of the law, knowing our reputation and, and the way others drag us into business that isn't strictly on the up. But after last night, I really would like a crack at Leviticus Corn one as well. We'll see. I'm also wondering where my hat's gone.
spot holds, eh? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Oh. Idiot! <laughs> I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm coming through. Go on! I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. See? Uh. Oh, let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Come on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, uh, worms are... Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. Okay, that was a bite. There he is. So it's proper fly fishing, that's what they're teaching us. But yeah, I'm kind of glad we did this anyway, so... Yeah... Uh. That feels like a bite. There we go. That's really in anyway. Got away. Isaiah's not having a lot of that. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. Hey, 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 look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Fifty-pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There you go. 
That's a nice one. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Now, reel them in, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Why does what Dutch is saying not surprise me about his mother? And him as a child. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. 
Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy complains me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think we have too much fun. Indeed not. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough. Knock out Anders Anderson without taking a hit. He had a knife. <laughs> Catch him to Anders. I'm sending the jail within five minutes, 30 seconds. Catch a fish with Dutch and Jose. Well, we we did one of three. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to check. Father, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Yes. Hi there. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yes. They let the ladies in port. <laughs> and you opposed that, did you? Sometimes. Depend on the ladies. All right. Do we have? Do I have? I have my hat. Yep. There we go. That's what we wanted. 
Um, the other question is, do we have... I mean, we Suitable for hot temperatures? Suitable for hot temperatures. Is not saved and can be lost when stored on a horse. Okay. Well, we'll save it. Saved custom outfit. Good, good, good. Um... Gunslinger? Summer gunslinger? Or is it hot? I don't know. Is it... I told you we didn't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we might get some more threads, but for now, I'm quite happy with the custom Clint Eastwood look. Although his legs look really short and dumpy on that angle. But I think this is going to be a perfect time. Ah, oh, hello, Mano. Ah, oh, you just popped in. And I'm going to end now because I just wanted to see what happened after what I did last night until about half two. And I got told off by the other half about it. But I was like, yeah, fair fair comment. Stay up till three o'clock in the morning is probably not the best thing for me. Um, and I'm not getting up as early as I normally do. So, yeah. Well, look at that sunset over the lake. Yeah, it's always nice to be by a lake, isn't it? We are going to call it quits today, though. And... Uh, just end this little stream but now we've, we've set up camp we got established and now I can go off hunting and do all the things I like to do my one big question is do I have uh, see it's saying talk to talk to Pinkerton because he's got a mission um, I'm guessing it might be and if I do that I'm kind of worried that if we do that 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 will be that does that make sense it will throw us into the next quest I don't want to risk that, so we are going to call it a day here. But thanks for joining me, everyone. Thanks for, to everyone that's popped in. And uh, if you're new here, hit subscribe and like. And I will see you all when I next get back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully not too long. So keep the bell notification on because it is a bit sporadic as to when I can stream due to having family life. But, yeah, when I'm here, I do love it. So hope to see you then. Like I say... Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.